Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Whitby, and today I want to go over some more important individuals during the American Revolution. But before I jump into these individuals and their brief contribution, I'm not going to say their contributions were brief, but I had to kind of summarize it for you guys so you guys aren't writing a lot of information too much information because the graphic organizer that you guys are doing is kind of long. So let's go ahead and look at it. But here's what I kind of want to go into. Um, during the American Revolution, as you guys know, the American colonists had um, slavery. So in America, that was slavery. So what Great Britain said at the time, they stated that any African American who fought on the side of Great Britain would be given their freedom and basically pretty much promised that if Great Britain won the American Revolution, they would um, end slavery in the Americas. So let's go ahead and look at the first person because I want to tie that to it. So the first person named James Armstead, he was an African American or an African who became the first double spy in the American Revolution. So James Armstead, even though it's kind of written as double spy, what he did is he, he was a loyalist to the American colonists, but he actually spied on the, the, the British. So basically he was able to go and kind of work with Great Britain, get intel and he would come back and give the intel to the Americans. So he would kind of let the Americans know what the British would, was doing, their location, kind of tell them about some of the places that they would invade and, and their strategies. So he served as a spy. Um, he was a slave, but because of his actions and his duties for his countries and his willingness to serve his countries. James Armstead was actually granted his freedom after the American Revolution. He ended up being granted like 40 acres and um, he received the pension for his duties during the American Revolution. It's a feel good story, pretty, pretty good story that um, showed that during the time our, our country had some, some good things going on. The next person that we have is Bernardo de Galvez. He led Spanish armies against the British in the American Revolution. He also kept the British from taking the Mississippi River. The next person that we have is Crispus Attucks. And Crispus Attucks is known for being one of the first casualties or, or murders in the American Revolution. He was killed during the Boston, Ma Boston Massacre. We have another guy named Ham Solomon. And this guy is a Jewish financier. So as a financier, he gave money. He put financial support behind the Continental Army during the, uh, re the American Revolution. And this is the end of this part of my lecture. Go ahead and add this or, or use this information to um, fill in your graphic organizer. And like I said before, you guys ultimately will choose one of these people to do more in-depth research on. You will create um, uh, some sort of graphically and graphically organized um, and annotated placard, which um, basically informs other students of the significance of your person. So use this information to fill out that graphic organizer, but also be mindful and think about what individual you want to choose to do your project, which will be for a group project, I mean, an individual project grade. All right, you guys have a good day and I hope this lecture helps you.